Dental checkups include examining the number of teeth, checking for tooth decay, stains, and examining teeth alignment. At the checkup, carry your child facing you and sit down on a chair, then have your child's head on the dentist's lap. Hold your child's hands firmly on their tummy. You will have your child's tooth condition, gums, and oral membranes recorded in your mother and child health handbook. Ask your dentist or dental hygienist if you need help. At the 18-month-old checkup, there will be a cavity prediction test. In this test, plaque will be incubated for 48 hours and whether the teeth can be easily infected or not will be examined. You will receive a cavity prevention class or periodic dental checkup letter if the test results were high. If your child has teeth that show decay or a tooth that needs observation, you will receive a dental care class and periodic dental checkup letter about a month after the checkup. It is important to prevent tooth decay until your child turns three years old. If you receive the letter, please go to the dental care class and check up. Although the appearance of teeth depends on each child, 8 to 16 teeth should arrive by 18 months old. Take good care of the baby teeth because your child will be using those front teeth until 6 to 7 years old and those back teeth until 10 to 12 years old. It is important to make a habit of brushing your teeth every day to avoid tooth decay. Get your child into the habit of brushing their teeth from infancy. Begin by giving your child a toothbrush to hold. Children tend to bite the toothbrush at first, but they will gradually start to move the toothbrush in their mouth. Do not let your child walk around with a toothbrush in their mouth. They might fall over and hurt themselves badly. An adult should always be there to watch. It is a good idea for an adult to brush their teeth in front of the child so that they might take interest and imitate. Use two toothbrushes, one for your child to use and one for adults to finish brushing teeth with. Your child's toothbrush should be short and easy to hold, while the finishing toothbrush should be long and easy for adult use. A brush about the size of the two front baby teeth is recommended. When your child can hold their toothbrush by themselves, an adult should start finish brushing the child's teeth. However, your child might refuse to have their teeth brushed as they begin to have their own will at this stage of growth. Encourage your child by brushing your teeth in front of them, showing them that it is fun. Or, you can pretend to play and brush the teeth of your child's favorite stuffed animals and dolls. Or, you can read picture books that your child may be attracted to so that they can enjoy brushing their teeth. Teach your child to hold their toothbrush like a pencil. To brush teeth safely, have your child lay down with his or her head between your knees so your child cannot move. You can also let your child sit down on a chair so he or she can sit back, then you can stand behind and look down to brush your child's teeth. Make sure you smile and brush their teeth gently. Be careful when you brush the front teeth because when the toothbrush hits the frenum, a piece of soft tissue that runs in a thin line between the lips and gums, it is very painful. Fold the upper lip upward and guard the frenum with the free hand that is not holding the toothbrush. Angle the bristles on the surface of their teeth and move the brush 10 times carefully. 
To clean the back side of the teeth, angle the toothbrush lengthwise and brush outwards. If you are still breastfeeding or your child is still taking bottle formulas, make sure to clean the back of their teeth to avoid tooth decay. The upper four front baby teeth, border of gums and teeth, and in between teeth are most commonly affected by tooth decay. In the early stages of tooth decay, the teeth become white and chalky. Please check your child's teeth carefully. After you have finished brushing your child's teeth, Praise your child by saying, your teeth are nice and clean. Good job! Snack time is a fun time and it is a chance to give nutrition that could not be taken in during meal time. However, eating snacks at random hours and drinking juice continuously will affect dental health. To avoid tooth decay, have snacks at fixed hours. To prevent tooth decay, it is essential to brush teeth at home and to go for periodic dental checkups. You can ask for help at the Minami Ward Health and Welfare Center. A dental consultation for infants is held for children before entering elementary school, though a reservation is required.